You may remember the Children of the 90s study, the most in-depth medical research into mothers and children in the world. Well, most of the babies who were born as part of that study are now approaching their late 20s. But even though everyone is growing up, the University of Bristol researchers say their work is continuing as it always did. In fact, they say it's more important than ever. Robert Murphy reports. 25 years ago, Mary Barbosa and Esther Ball took part in the Children of the 90s project. They didn't know each other. But Mary's son Christopher, who was part of the project, got together with Esther's daughter Josie. She was in it too. So was her twin sister Zara. The twins and their partners now have children, lots of them, all part of the research. These are the children of the Children of the 90s. It's actually exciting and I like love learning like the stuff like that it's quite important because you need to learn stuff about stuff about your body and how healthy it is and you need to know if you're you know t not getting enough exercise or your uh, body's not running properly the avon study is called children of the 90s project and they want to find out ITV News has been filming this study from the beginning these babies will be 26 years old now over the years, they've been measured for everything. Diet, nut allergies, exercise levels, childhood obesity. The research is the most detailed of its type in history. And, to use its proper name, the Avon Longitudinal Study of Parents and Children has made some life-saving findings. It makes you feel a little bit important to be part I feel a little bit important. Yeah. Just yeah. to be part of something that's discovering stuff. I remember the, yes, I think the back to back, bit, yeah. putting babies on their back was one of the first really important clarifications yeah. that we had because by the time I had my third child, I was told to put that child yes. on, yeah. on his back. Yeah. Whereas my first, I hadn't been told that and it was because of the study that we, we learned that. Yeah, it's a great right. clarification yeah. and there's plenty mm. of other things. It's highlighted things like the importance of eating fish. Um, so eating fish um, does seem to, um, there was an old wives tale that you eat fish and your eyesight is better and you, it affects your brain. It does. The old wives were right. Um, it really does uh, affect the brain. Uh, people are scared because there's mercury in fish. If you eat fish, the mercury doesn't matter because there's so much goodness in the fish. Things like whether a mother has diabetes and high levels of glucose when she's pregnant results in a baby that's heavier when they're born, but also that that individual tends to remain heavier and more at risk of, of being obese and overweight as they go through their life. For that study, they're measuring glucose levels of pregnant mothers. The techniques have changed over the years. It's moved on in terms of when we were little and when our eldest children were little, we used to have stepometers that we used to take home, wear at home, count how many steps we've done and give it back at the end of it. I mean, and now there's, there's technology, you know, head cams, so it takes interactions between you and your child and yeah, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. Octopuses, they, they sweat ink. <laughs> 14,500 mums were part of the original study that's grown to take in new generations, children of the 90s, noughties and 20-teens. Robert Murphy, ITV News, Bristol.